We've always been science fiction and comic book fanatics. When somebody wants a vehicle for a movie or for a television show, we're the guys that they call. So yeah, we'll, we'll take a trim piece and make it run all the Parker way. Brothers Concepts is a business that my brother and I started and we build the strange and unusual. The business actually came about accidentally. Uh, Shannon and I had a construction company. We built toys in our spare time for fun. It was kind of a hobby. And some of the things that we built ended up out on the internet and the next thing you know, people are calling. We've gone from a, a one car garage to a 15,000 square foot facility in, in less than two years. This is a shredder that we built for the movie Battleship for Universal Pictures last year. Uh, it's a, one of the alien vehicles that they use to try and destroy the world with. This one actually got to drive it down the, the red carpet for the movie premiere. You actually ride inside of the wheel and we have cameras mounted on the outside and there's video screens inside that show you where you're going. So it's, uh, it's a little bit tricky to drive, but once the blades get spinning, it, everybody moves out of your way. They don't really make tires for something like this, so we had to make these ourselves. This is hundreds of pieces of butyl rubber that we cut out individually and then affix them to the vehicle, but they're actually rubber. And we built this one in just under three weeks from scratch. This is another one of the vehicles that we built for one of our overseas clients. Um, he wanted to go do a, a race over in Europe called the Gumball Race, and it's a 3,000 mile race, and wanted something really unique to drive in it, so this is what we built him. It's pretty much built from scratch. We had to build the chassis, the frame, the suspension, the interior, the body, uh, everything except for the motor and the tires we actually created from scratch. It's got a LS1 Corvette engine in it, so it'll move pretty good and it definitely uh, draws a little bit of attention when it goes down the road. This is the Green Machine. Um, Huffy made a, a toy version back in the days and, and we loved them when we were kids. Green Machine! And when we got a little older, we decided we wanted to build a big kid version. So we've got a 45 inch front wheel, the biggest wheel ever on a motorcycle. It has rear steer, the back end turns instead of the front. Got a big Harley Evo motor in it, six-speed transmission. When you go down the road in this, everybody goes, what in the world are you driving? Body lines work. I the devil's in the details, boys. To go from where we started to where we're at in such a short period of time, it's been a hell of a learning curve. That's why they got I think we had like $2,000, $2,500 is what we started this business with. Um, just enough to buy the materials for the first build and, and do it all on our own. Um, but we, we've made our mistakes along the way and we've lost a lot of money on certain builds and we've gained a lot of money on certain builds, but a lot of concept companies will build static models and they're beautiful, but they're not drivable. We want everything that we build to be able to go out on the street, people to get on it, take off down the road, drive it around, actually enjoy these things. 